Hi, in this video we will step through the execution of a couple of search algorithms and a few examples. The first algorithm we'll consider is depth first tree search. While we step through it, we'll visualize the algorithm using the search tree visualization. Here is our state space graph, which defines our search problem. We even have costs annotated on the edges, but remember, for depth first search, they will not play a role. They're essentially just distractors for now. We have a start state, which, we, which is denoted by S, and a goal state, just a single goal state denoted by G. When we look at how the search tree will evolve, running depth first search, alphabetical tie-breaking, we start with just the root node, S. Then when we call the successor function on S, we get two children, A and B. And remember, really, these children are not just A and B, but they are a plan to start in S and go to A, and a plan to start in S and go to B. Then, once we are in A, which is alphabetically first compared to B, we will, after expansion, get C and B again. These are not just C and B, these are really partial plans, so what you have here is the plan to start in S, go to A, and then go to C, and the plan to start in S, go to A, then go to B. Depth first search always looks at the things deepest in the tree first. There is two of them that are equally deep. Amongst the ones that are equally deep, it does alphabetical tie-breaking. B comes first alphabetically, so now it'll expand B. B has just one successor, C. So now we have C here. Again, this is not really just C, but it is a plan to start in S, go to A, go to B, and then go to C. As the next node to expand, we'll pick this one here because it's the deepest one in the search tree. And when expanding this one, we get just one successor, G. Again, this is not just G that we have in the search tree here. It's really the plan to start in S, go to A, go to B, go to C, and then go to G. Now the deepest one in the search tree is this node over here. Expanding this node, what we see is that um, the last state in this plan is the goal state. That means when we are expanding this, we actually don't have to expand anymore what we declare success. And the path found is S, A, B, C, G. Now let's again look at depth first tree search, but do a priority queue visualization. So priority queue will use as its priority depth in the search tree, which corresponds to the number of steps in the plan. Okay, so as always, we initialize with the start state. So our priority queue consists of just S with a priority of 1. Only one element in the priority queue, so that's the one that gets taken out. When we take out S on the priority queue, after expansion, in our priority queue, we have the elements A and B. It's not just A. This is really going from S to A. And for B, also, it's not just B. It's going from S to B that we have on our priority queue. For A, S, A, the priority level is 2. And for S, B, the priority level is also 2 because there are. We'll do alphabetical tie-breaking, which means we'll expand this one first, the one going to A. We'll take this element out and expand it. A has two successors, B and C. So we'll add two elements to the priority queue. There will be S, A, B, and the priority there will be three. And there will be S, A, C with a priority also of three. And we will retain S, B, looking for expansion again. The nodes with the highest priority, higher numbers, higher priority for depth first search is the threes here. Um, alphabetical tie-breaking makes us go with this one first. B has only one successor, C, so we have S, A, B, C. This has a priority of 4. The other two, S, A, C with priority of 3, and S, B with priority of 2. Next one to expand, well, the one with the highest priority here is S, A, B, C with priority of 4. C has only one successor, G. So after expansion, we get one successor, S, A, B, C, G. This is a priority of 
5 and the other two remain on the queue as they were. The next one to expand is this one here with a priority of 5. When we are about to expand this we realize that when the last state here is G which is the goal state so we actually don't have to expand anymore, we can declare success. The path we found to the goal is the one right here, S, A, B, C, G. Now let's look at breadth first tree search and we'll do the search tree visualization. We have the same state space graph here. So the search tree will be initialized with the start state. Then when calling the successor function on the start state, we get two successors, A and B. Remember, these are really plants, not just states that are associated with the nodes in the search tree. So SA and SB. Then breadth first search will look at the shallowest nodes in the tree that haven't been expanded yet. There's two of them. Um, it'll do alphabetical tie breaking, so SA will get expanded first. A has two successors, C and G. So we'll get SAC and SAG. Next, breadth first search will expand again, the one that is shallowest in the search tree that hasn't been expanded yet, which is this node over here. And B has one successor, C, so expanding this one leads to S, B, D. Performing alphabetical tie-breaking, who's next? This one here. Expanding S, A, C, we get just one successor for C, we get S, A, C, G. Now, these are the two shallowest in the search tree, alphabetical tie-breaking, tells us to go with this one next, SAG. Um, when we ask for expansion of SAG, we notice that the last state is the goal state. That means we declare success. We found a path to the goal. And the path we return is SAG. Now let's do a visualization of our step through using priority queues. So our priority queue gets initialized with just the start state, S. The start state is at level one in the search tree. There's only one state that participates in this plan. So priority of one. And that's our initial priority queue. Expanding it, there's two successors A and B, so we get the two successors onto our priority queue S A, S B, and both of them have a priority of two. Pick the one with the lowest number. Both of them have two alphabetical tie-breaking picks. This one next, so next our priority queue will be placing that one with its successors. A has two successors C and G, so we get S, A, C, which will have a priority of 3. We get S, A, G, which has a priority of 3. And we retain S, B, which has a priority of 2. 2 is the lowest number. Breadth first search will go for that one. Expanding, keeping the others, we get S, A, C with priority of 3. S, A, G has a priority of 3. Then B has one successor, C. So we get S, B, C with now a priority of 3. That's our new priority queue. The lowest number here, which is a breadth first search we'll look for, is 3. Alphabetical tie breaking puts S, A, C first. So expand that one. C has one successor, G. So we get S, A, C, G, which is a priority of 4. We retain the other 2. Now who's next? The 3's are the lowest numbers. SAG is alphabetical before SBC, so we have SAG first. Oh, last one here is a goal state. That means we declare success and we return SAG as our path found by a breadth first tree search.